Yo guys, what's up? It's Andy Power, and you know already the concept here. Four letters, real, honest, and trustable tutorial. Let's start now. Whoops, you there. Sorry guys, uh, oh, I think I have this song in my mind, in my head, um, and I, I, I can't sing something else these days. So welcome for the third video of this tutorial, where I am explaining you how to uh, install all the softwares you need to run smoothly on HTPC or PC your different old emulators like Genesis, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, 3DO, PlayStation, whatever you want to, to play on your computer directly. And in this third video, I will show you how to install Launchbox and set up it to use RetroArch as a backend. In the previous video, I had some homework to do and I want to show you exactly how I figured out how to pair my wonderful controller to my PC because I had some connectivity issues. So look at this, you will like it. It will be super, super, super simple. It will be super, super, super simple. Yeah, I know, I'm a cheater, but <laughs> honestly, guys, I spent almost, I think, one hour after the last video uh, trying to, to pair my, my wireless Xbox One controller, and I was just losing fucking time, you know? So I decided to just plug through USB my my controller here, and it worked. It worked right away, so just for the beginning of the video, I want to show you how to use your Xbox One controller or uh, Xbox 360 because it's a 360 here uh, controller with a retro arc. So I will just show you a snapshot of what happened here. As you can see, the Xbox uh, controller has been recognized automatically by RetroArch. It's wonderful because binding itself between the controller and the software here is automatic. You don't have anything to do as I as I said. So okay, so I wanted to show you and I want you in your RetroArch configuration to activate this option because it will be very useful. As I said, RetroArch will be used as a backend. And as a backend, you will be able to run the game directly in RetroArch. But as soon as you push Escape on your keyboard twice, because it's the default behavior, you will come back to your front end that is Launchbox. So if you want to modify some settings in RetroArch at the runtime of a game, you will have to be able to access the menu of RetroArch and by default it's not the case. I invite you to go into settings, so the second menu here, into drivers, into input here and you go on hotkeys and in hotkeys you have a menu toggle gamepad combo. This combo generally is the best to go into the menu and you won't use this combo usually into any games. So it's to push these two button under the analogic sticks here. So L3, the button under this analogic here, and R3 here. So I activate this one. So every time I will be in RetroArch, I can access the menu through these two buttons here. So I hit RetroArch. It was like a side topic here. So now, guys, I invite you to go into your favorite browser and go. Uh, so I will just 
write lunchbox here because I don't remember the exact URL. I'm going here. So as you can see here, lunchbox is like a front end as I explained to you. And uh, we make your games beautiful and it's true. Um, emulate, organize and beautify your game collection. And lunchbox is partner of MU Movies. Let's say you want the video to be downloaded. You have to have a MU Movies account to be able to download all these videos. Okay, let's say uh, I want to donate or upgrade. So you have the lifetime supporter here. It's like sixty dollars, and for sixty dollars, I think it's it's uh, United States dollars. You have access to all the videos, like unlimited access, and it's it's what I bought. You have also the yearly supporter, and you have the monthly supporter. I would recommend this one. I know it's like expensive, but at the same time, guys, you you, you won't have to think about it anymore. So we make your games okay, very good. So I download lunch lunchbox now. So I downloaded the the package here. I launched the exe file so english yeah i accept the agreement this part here is really important okay i have a main hard drive here where my windows is installed where my common softwares are installed etc and as you can see i have i would say it's it's not so bad but for the basic software, I need 264.5 megabytes of free disk space required. Okay, fine. So I can say, okay, um, let's say on my on my 200 gigabytes, I have enough space. But at the same time, all your assets, we say uh, descriptions, uh, title, pictures, because uh, Lunchbox needs pictures. If you want videos like Emmy movies or something like that. If you want all that stuff and you have like, I don't know, 10,000 games, it will download all the videos for all these, these games. And you can get into trouble very fast. So be really careful when you choose the, the directory here, choose a directory on the hard drive or a SSD or whatever, where you have like, I would say at least maybe 100 gigabytes free just for this software because as soon as you start to download assets it will grow as hell so i will choose like uh, be here because i have a directory for video games so it's, it's great so next launchbox i don't care put a desktop icon so i prefer to have a desktop icon So when you go on Launchbox for the first time, you can import for different systems, etc. So you can have like MS-DOS games for from physical media or folder, etc. So um, and you have like a tutorial, but my tutorial is just better than every tutorial. No, I'm kidding. But you have a tutorial here to set up Launchbox with RetroArch. The, the Launchbox is, is showing you that. So, you have different options here. You can you can import from Steam games, Epic, MAM, ROM, etc. So I will go on ROM. ROM files. And I will start with, um, I think we had Super Nintendo Entertainment System in the first two videos because we downloaded the course if, we, if you remember well. And I am testing you because I want I want to see if you are following what I am saying. It's very important. So I will go here. I will add a folder, okay? You have two choices here, add files or folder. I will add a folder. In this folder, I will go in my ROM directory. I will click on OK. As I mentioned before, I won't show you how to download ROMs, so I expect you to have all your ROMs available in some directories and, and to add directly your directory here. So I click on Next. 
here you have to say it's for this specific platform or system so I will say Super Nintendo whatever Super Nintendo Entertainment System next I will choose the emulator so for the first time you configure it you have to add here the emulator you want to, you want to use okay you have a bunch of default emulator here and it's like all the basics emulators you can find I would say on the market or on the web. I want to use RetroArch because RetroArch will be my backend for the old emulators like Genesis, NES, NES, Master System, Sega CD, PlayStation or whatever. So I will say I want to use RetroArch. So I have to browse my computer to say hey man RetroArch is installed there and in my case and by default I would say it's in users your uh, account default account it's in uh, roaming and you have like retro arc directly in your roaming okay and you can choose retro arc .exe. I click on OK you don't have anything to change here on the second tab here and if you remember well okay yeah you I am talking to you man if you remember well, for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, in RetroArch we used Beetle. And do you know what Beetle means? Beetle means that I am using Mednafen. So I will choose Mednafen SNES Lib Retro. And as you can see, you have Mednafen for a bunch of systems here, like PS6. PCFX, PCE, NGP, VB, WS1, etc. It will work like a charm. Next, so in my case, but you are doing whatever you want. If you want Launchbox to copy also your ROMs directly in Launchbox Games folder, you can do it. You can move, but in my case, I just want to use the files in their current location. So I won't do anything. So I want to search for game information from Launchbox Game Database. I will configure my MU movies to show you exactly what kind of information you can have. Okay? You just have to enter your credentials here. If you want to register, you can click directly here and you can buy a subscription of whatever. You can do a test. And the test is saying successfully logged into MU movies. Wonderful! Click on OK. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, It's uh, really boring for me to do this part of the tutorial because uh, I don't have any challenges there. It's just next, next, next. So from MU Movies, we, you will have all that stuff downloaded. Okay, And you, you don't have anything to do because everything is selected by default. Here you don't have anything to do. You have a, a last look of what Launchbox is going to import. It's saying, for instance, like iRobies here will be for this game. So you can check, but usually it's not it's not doing a lot of mistakes there. So you can trust the system to import all that stuff correctly. I click on finish, and as you can see, my launch box, I will say, is doing a great job, right? It's doing a pretty great job, but at the same time it would be super long because I have a lot of games, so it will take a while to import everything. So I will let the system crawl all the information and grab all the information from the internet. In the meanwhile, I will show you something that was very great. It made me laughing, you know, so... Oh, this one. This one made me laugh. A lot. Why you should wear face masks? The urine tests. If we all run around naked and someone pees on you, you get wet right away. If you are wearing pants, some pee will get through, but not as much, so you are better protected. If the guy who pees also is wearing pants, the pee stays with him and you do not get wet. 
and this thing is super cool because some people were saying I oh, why I should wear a face mask and whatever is it protecting me efficiently and this one is resuming the, the this thing and uh, it made me laugh you know it was it was very interesting so lunchbox is doing his job now So, the import is done, so I will say yes, I don't know why, but I have like an exception, something went wrong here, but I will say yes, because I want all my games saved. So 863 games were imported successfully. I will play this game for sure. So all the, the games are displayed here and um, yeah, everything is here. Good. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I see you on the next video where I will show you how to use your two softwares installed, Launchbox and RetroArch, to play and launch a game on your new Super Nintendo Entertainment System that you just configured the right way. And also I will show you what is the result through Big Box. Big Box, the beautiful UI from Launchbox. It's part of Launchbox software and you will see that you will have all your different assets used to provide you a wonderful user interface to launch all your different games. So see you in the next video guys.